this is what the education system says to you. Go to uni, get a degree. Yep. Um, it'll set you up for a better job. And what kids are doing is they're setting up themselves for a lot of debt to start yes, their careers yes, from. Along with their mobile phones, mm -hmm. which often get out of hand in terms of those debts, uh, car loans, all this Credit sort of stuff. Cards, holiday loans. Yep. All that stuff. So have a real think about it in terms of higher education. And I always come back to, as you know, uh, beat the drum of the life purpose thing. What is yeah. your life purpose? The greater wealth. We have Derek over here doing his thing, mate, looking official with the official Edge computer, as we can see. Can we actually see it? Kind of. Oh, look, I'm sure we can. We can point that there out. We, uh, we have, of course, the Shave Monkey, who's done everything possible all day, yesterday, day before, and there's a pattern forming here to basically throw us offline. Hey, um, hey, hey, you stuffed up the online thing. I uh, got us back online. There has been no mistakes. Now, from my part. <laughs> We're going to get straight into the show because I'll tell you right now, we've got so much to talk about today. Today is absolutely huge. Uh, we're going to run basically just under an hour. Um, oh, hey, Aaron. I yes. forgot. To... No, no. I'm no, kidding. please don't do that. <laughs> so, so we'll basically, we'll be with you for the next hour. We've got a lot of subjects we want to cover. Uh, for those who are online or listening, uh, jump online to whatever uh, format you're using and throw your questions in. We'd love to uh, interact with you. Now, Derek, mate, you have got quite a list of things we need to talk about. Let's get into it. Let's start on the domestic side of things. Aussie's student debt is going to be slashed by $3 billion. $3 billion. Under a cost of living <laughs> measure announced today. Uh, well, the other day, I should say, by uh, Prime Minister Anthony, Anthony Albanese. Now, this is... An interesting time to do this because, of course, there's a cost of living uh, issue that's going on. Issue. I believe it's crisis, but okay. <laughs> okay I'll go with the crisis. I don't like to be dramatic. I like to be neutral on no, these things, yeah. you know, because it's how you'd interpret it. Just because so I say it's a crisis doesn't mean it has to be a crisis. Yeah, well, true. Okay, well, no, I understand. As I, I look at it as here's an opportunity, but <laughs> you, so, you know I'm what sorry, I'm saying. I'm going to jump in this one. For Albanese, <laughs> a crisis is people not putting memes up of him. That's <laughs> right. That is, yeah. Going to make sure no mean memes, right? The Okay. Bear did a good one on of it, but anyway, oh, look, I'm going to go with, back to education. Well, he upset Elon Musk a bit. Ooh, Elon, Elon upset that. him recently. Elon that, might care. That was oh, funny. Well, that's going to be on like Donkey Kong. I'm, I'm excited about oh, this one. Look, the <laughs> memes have started already. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He comes maybe some maybe great Elon will school Albanese. Oh, look, someone's <laughs> going to school him. You know, he came from a public housing and single mother. You know that, right? Okay. Did he? I didn't yeah. know that. Uh, no, okay. no, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, sarcasm 101. Let's jump into it, though. Okay, let's really be serious about this for a moment because it is a very serious issue, right? Okay, now let's talk about the debt. Okay, is it just the fact? Is Albanese so inept? Is he so without his own ideas that he has to basically copy Biden? I mean, if you're going to copy someone, Biden? Like, really? Well, I think it's always a political type move, these yeah. things. And uh, look at it this way. You've got a situation where students probably feel a little bit left out as far as the budget's concerned when they do the federal budget. <laughs> right. It's usually targeting um, single parents, sure. uh, retirees, usually on health measures. Mm. And students generally fall in the category of no income but healthy. Sure. But what you need to do is if you want to target students, you need to, okay, the things you need to address is the cost of beer and two-minute noodles. <laughs> That's it. No, no, right? the reason they drink beer and two-minute noodles is because they can't afford Jack Daniels and they can't afford a real meal. <laughs> That's exactly right. Maybe, maybe hit cask wine, maybe drop the, the price of cask wine. That'll do, right? <laughs> what, goon juice? Make it $4 again. <laughs> so they're not feeling so left out. So yeah. they're getting a bit of a cut. and uh, Get it, a cut. <laughs> boom, boom. Yep. <laughs> Half cut. The average right. debt, they don't call it hex anymore. That was news oh. to me. They call it help. Help. <laughs> they call it help debt. The average amount is twenty six thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, that's a lot less than I expected, actually. It yeah, is. but not America. They're gonna wipe out twelve hundred dollars on that debt. Right. Uh nice. students with bigger debts of like a hundred thousand, you know, the ones yep. who've done the medicine, the law, those mm. type of degrees, uh, could possibly have five grand wiped out. So wow. you know, okay. it's it's staged. It's it is. It's politics. Yeah. It's 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 a. It's not really going to help. If you're a student, hey, you'll take what you can get. So you yeah. Know. Well, I didn't know this until only a few weeks ago. But a friend of mine who's got a, a degree, um, she's paying off her 
I thought it was called hex debt. There mm. you go. Mm. Um, and she was telling me the interest rate was something horrific. I can't. I think it was fourteen percent or something. You know what's really funny? It, when they sell it to you mm. for school, mm. they said, "Oh no, no, it's interest free." Well, that's what she said to me. So she but, has about you know eighteen years of debt behind, or sixteen years or something, of going to uni, right? Just uh, you know going for a bit, stopping for a bit, you know how life gets in the way. Anyway, but all of this debt, and yes, she was told it was debt, it was, uh, sorry, interest-free, mm. and now she she's discovered she's paying 14%, so she has to mm. pay it in a hurry because, I mean, that's a much higher rate than what's yep. going on, you know, for everybody else. From so it, what I've heard, mm. whilst you're studying, it's interest-free, but the moment you finish and you start working, they start slapping the interest oh, on top. It's almost like politicians use words carefully to manipulate people. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like you just can't sell us one to me. It does, doesn't it? But that's nasty. Well, okay. I'm going to use it for this. I'm going to encourage everybody out there, okay, to not go anywhere near university, okay? If you want to basically have your brain fried, okay, and this, I have, you know, I've, I've got some stipulations here. If you wish to be a professional liar, lawyer, okay, you got to go to you got to get there, right? Okay, so therefore, okay, if you want to become a liar, go there. If you want to become a doctor, yeah, I want my doctor to go to uni, all right? Yep. If you're going to be doing those sorts of things in medicine, what, what, maybe. What about essential oils? They'll, they'll keep oil, you healthy. Yeah, we'll they'll keep drink, you healthy. You know, what about an engineer? You want an engineer to go to I uni? do, actually. Well, no, actually, yo, on that no. front, actually. No, no, no. no. no I, I know. do want them to go to uni, but I also want them to spend four years on a construction site first. Damn straight. <laughs> I No, but I know, I do know an engineer who, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, so, you know, don't. Don't uh, yeah. I can't say this on a stack of Bibles, but okay, he did a he did a TAFE course and all that sort of thing, and then he does work for uh, you know basically work um, work for uh, the doll. qualifications no no qualifications as he works. So maybe mm. there's a bit there, but yes, I would want my engineer friends to have good uh, qualifications behind, or at least know how to use AI properly. Mm. Well, this mm. is interest you given you in the media. I was mm. talking to one of my mates who. He was a engineer when Channel 10 was set up back at Chewett Hill. Right. Right. So yes. he was back from the old days and he was doing TV before that, the right. races, stuff like that. So he helped set up the original one. He's now lecturing at Curtin University. Okay. And I said, how's that all going? Out of interest because that's a film school that I actually went to right. back in the day. And he said, he said to me, it's funny why people are now going to do this degree. He said that students are dictating the curriculum rather than oh, the really? other way around. And it's because... It's not that they want to work in the television industry. No. They all want to do their social media That's platforms right. and YouTube well, channels and do it that TV's way. TV's dying. We all know that, right? TV <laughs> yeah. is dying. So people is radio. Are, pardon? Radio is practically dead already. Oh, absolutely. And that's why, obviously, we do what we do. I mean, with us, it's obviously interactive. It's mm. it's broadcasting more than strictly radio because, obviously, we want to talk to people and get their ideas. Um, but, yeah, no, you absolutely – I completely understand that. And I – when you're talking about when the setting up of Channel 10 uh, – was Channel 10, Seven. you said? Yeah. Okay, back in the channel. Ten. 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 I remember this. I know that uh, back in the, uh, we'll call it the early 90s, when they were doing all of that, um, Channel 10 wanted to interview me for a rally story, right? Long story short, the guy started laughing and said, uh, uh, coming out to our studio, mate, <laughs> we're set up in a shed. And he literally said, at the moment, we're set up in a shed. So mm. they're broadcasting around Australia. You know, it's all looking shiny and all that kind of thing. But it was literally just a tin shed at that stage yeah. and um but and good on them from that point of view of like you know make it uh, happen make it happen exactly mm. make the magic happen and the technology wasn't as sophisticated as it is today no, too. so no, no, there no. was a lot more effort going into it to get a signal out oh it's like us with behind the desk here with fiddling with the wire but put it in perspective hey, back onto the economic side uh, putting it back in the economic side he, mm. he, here's what you're trained to do this is what the education system says to you go to uni get a degree yep um it'll set you up for a better job and what kids are doing is they're setting up themselves for a lot of debt to start yes, their careers yes, from, along with their mobile phones, mm -hmm. which often get out of hand in terms of those debts, uh, car loans, all this Credit sort of stuff. Cards, holiday loans. Yep, all that stuff. So have a real think about it in terms of higher education. And I always come back to, as you know, uh, beat the drum of the life purpose thing. What is yep. your life purpose? Yep. If your life purpose involves going to university, fantastic. Go for it. Um, Pay for it up front. But yourself. you do get those. I, I don't know if it's still anymore, but when I used to go to university, you'd come across one or two students who were the professional students. Oh, yeah. man. Who would do <laughs> two, two, two or degree, three big majors degree. and degrees. Yeah. And oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can economically do that anymore, but uh, oh, yeah, look, it, it was, depends. Um, you know, I went to a private school. <laughs> and um, <laughs> mainly because the public ones wouldn't take me, but <laughs> asked me to leave. No, um, anyway, no, just it was a shirt, wasn't it? Was just a, it was, it was <laughs> just a normal school. I'm only teasing, but anyway, my point being is when I left school, and I left, you know, I'm a good old school, you know, uh, dropout, no university, whatever. Um, but 
so many people I know just stayed there. So mummy and daddy would keep paying their bills. That they'd, they'd kept themselves a unit and they put themselves up, set themselves up in Fremantle. You know, within crawling distance of the Norfolk Hotel. Yeah, you know, it's important mm. stuff, right? Live on noodles and beer, like I said. Mm. And but their parents were paying for it. Well, you know what? Now, if you want to have a life like that. that existed back then now it's just debt 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 and also it must be heartbreaking to think that look somebody who is is cleaning dongers up in Karatha is making more money certainly um university is a very lucrative thing for the australian government very in terms much of what so. it charges and it's a product that you know has benefited them particularly with international students mm -hmm. and uh it's a good income spinner so when yep lockdowns were occurring and borders were closing oh. that was an industry that the government wasn't receiving the normal income that they normally would um i think we need to look after our own australian citizens really in that area and they do charge less for students getting higher education in terms of australians however are they doing enough and i think that's what we've got to really look at you want the to build the country you want to build it and forward it well you know they certainly have hacked up the prices uh back in the day since you were going or you were you eligible to go uh out of high school yeah yeah well when i when i went to university i spent a lot of time there and i had quality time in the tavern um i did uh like honestly which uni did, did you, you go, to? go to uni you, well i rocked up to universities but i was never a student no same with me so <laughs> i just basically i'm not giving a lie oh, I, I was go, uwa oh. i was doing a, a degree in corporate finance and derivatives were you yeah, oh. that's what I did in university. Never paid for it. Oh, I just no. rocked up. I was oh. particularly uh, the longest period I went through was uh, Curtin. Went to Curtin for a while because um, their tavern was exceptionally good, and and I uh, majored in chatting up chicks. Uh, that's what I did at Curtin. Uh, I did a bit of Murdoch as well, uh, but never UWA. It was all no. a bit snooty for me. No more Asians there. So oh, I was, there I was happy. Oh, there you go. Yep. See demographics. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, I, look. I, to me, this is just this is kind of it's it's cheap, right? Like to me, Albanese going and doing this, it's just cheap policy. It's not even policy stealing, right? Look, I'm not going to knock it though. Oh, I mean, for a student, I am, I am, I'm absolutely, absolutely going to they're knock charging it. They're charging enough as it is, right? No, yeah. I'm going to knock this, Give and here's the reason why: because Australia is supposed to be a country that's fair and equal to everyone across the mm. board. And this is not fair and equal. So you got all these people who couldn't afford to go to university True. for whatever reason, had to go out, get a job, get a trade, pay their taxes, and now they don't take their money from them working hard to give it to the snooty bastards that went to university. I know I don't. I don't think it's fair. You rack up the debt, you pay for it yourself. Word to your mother. I tell you right now, I'm down with that. I think that um, exactly that. You is Australia is about a fair go and. Um, just basically, again, this is buying votes. This is playing mm. politics. There's no real gravity in it in my, my eyes. And so where are you coming from? If somebody wants to go to university but can't afford to, mm. should they be able to go? Should that bar yeah. them from going? No, if someone wants go. to buy a car and they can't afford it, do they not get a loan? Mm. You're responsible for your choices. If you can't afford to pay for it up yourself mm -hmm. and you don't get a scholarship Look, I and think you want to go to university, I think a you A car is a consumable. A car yeah. is consumable. And we're talking I'm, about education. Yeah. We're talking about if, if, if you were the prime minister, okay, mm, yeah. put yourself in that shoes and you want to do a five to ten year plan and you need a smarter generation coming through yep. rather than pulling the uh, immigration mm, lever. I, right? can, I can destroy this one straight away. Wouldn't you <laughs> want to, your own Australians to be better educated to do certain certain jobs? Well, yeah, they'll positions. need certain jobs because the Australian Labor Party specifically have destroyed the manufacturing sector of this country over a long period of time. So those jobs for, for workers are gone now. Right. The, that, the other thing as well, the lecturers at these universities are that far left. Oh, yes. Like you've said it yourself. That is definitely a problem. They're not yeah. even teaching the proper curriculum. No, like it's getting to the point, like obviously the wife's Vietnamese, I was talking to last time I was over there, I was talking to one of the doctors, and they were saying they will not accept Australian doctors because they're not trained well enough by their standards. Wow. So why the hell, like, it just blows my mind. If you, I, I, I tr if you really want to fix the system, Mm -hmm. to fix it to, for a 10-year plan. First thing you know, we need to do is focus on lower education, so primary school and high school. Yes. Get that sorted out first. Get all the agenda crap out of the schools. Mm. Get the people who are actually going into university to a point where they should be in university, not teaching them basic English and maths. Yep. But we definitely need to get activism out of the education system. Thoroughly because agree. it's not back just... Back to facts, not feelings. Yeah, it's, oh. it's gone... 
it's been around the university levels for a long oh, time, right? Basically, it's been happening since the 60s, right? Definitely. And it's generational now. And to me, exactly right. Let's get back to the basics, okay? You know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, rather. This is what needs to happen. The basics, we've got kids right now who can't do the most basic things and they're being asked, you know, as eight-year-olds what gender they want to be. Cut the crap, get back to educating people, and then, you know what, we won't have the problems that we have when we get to that level of Why education. Why do you think we have to import so many workers because our university-qualified people – I am going for one exception here. Mm -hmm. I think nurses, the nursing degrees at most universities are actually re genuinely good really good. Okay. Um, teaching degrees – Doctor's degree is questionable. There's a reason why most of our doctors now are Indian, Arabic, uh, Chinese, sure. Arabic, because the Australian doctors just, they're terrible. Yeah. So it's. Or, or again, I must guy. admit, the last time I went to a doctor, it was an Aussie doctor, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about, about this. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>